Uh, give us a little bit on how efficiency and distortion are related. Inversely proportional. If you can increase the efficiency of a speaker by a factor of 10, uh, you can decrease the, uh, uh, you multiply the distortion by 0.1, a tenth. Uh, in the case of a horn loudspeaker, you can almost neglect the distortion in, a, in an ordinary living room. You're being, you're being playing a, a high efficiency speaker with, a, with, a, with an input of less than one electrical watt. And the distortion at that power input level is just vanishingly low. On the other hand, with the typical direct radio, you might be about, might be feeding the speakers about 10 watts. Or in one case of uh, an unmentioned speak, uh, unmentionable speaker, uh, you might be feeding the uh, speaker with 100 watts, and then your distortion would be very audible. Talk about the diaphragm motion and horn loading. A 15 inch woofer loudspeaker, I'm going to call it a motor, we're driving a big paper cone back and forth and stirring up the air in the room. And uh, to, rip, to generate one, uh, 100 decibels sound pressure level, at a distance of one meter requires a diaphragm motion of around three quarters of an inch. Now that same driver in a woofer type horn might, ha <coughs> might have to move, move, <coughs> might have to move a sixteenth of an inch. Well, uh, the distortion is going to be proportional to how far the cone moves. Three quarters of an inch versus a sixteenth of an inch. So it's your factor of 10, mm -hmm. so it's good. Not very close to a factor of 10. Mm -hmm. 